Hello, hi, this is Savar Hamdani. But the ongoing war in Ukraine has triggered an energy crisis all across Europe. Many European countries are now ramping up measures to try and find alternate sources of the energy supplies against the Russian gas. As the supply crunch continues to haunt Europe and Russia has now said that it will be the temporarily halting the Nord Stream 1 pipeline for what it describes as annual maintenance work. Now, according to reports, the maintenance work which is expected to start from today will continue until the 25th to 21st of June. But there are fears that this maintenance work could, of course, much longer in terms of its duration for political reasons. The government officials and gas importing companies fear that Moscow will extend this temporary suspension beyond the scheduled time frame to intensify the gas crisis that remains in the country. And also for their support of Kiev amidst the ongoing what this is, a consequences that many of these West European nations fear Russia would want to impose on them. European countries have said that they are now eyeing on alternative gas pipelines that do not go via Ukraine, like the Yemen Europe pipeline, which crosses Belarus in Poland to Germany, Nord Stream 1. The Nord Stream 1 pipeline transports nearly about 55 billion cubic meters of gas and we from Russia to Germany and the Baltic Sea. Last month, Moscow slashed the gas flow to nearly about 40% of the pipeline's total capacity, sitting the delayed return of equipment being serviced in Canada. Now, Canada, however, has said that it will return the repaired turbine so that gas flow can continue without any hindrance. But the Canadian government decisions, however, has not been gone down really well in Ukraine. Ukrainian Foreign Ministry has openly criticized that decision and is called deeply disappointing. The minister in the official statement has said that the decision sets a dangerous precedent. It also warned that the transfer of the turbine will allow Russia to use energy as a weapon of war. 